More than 10,000 people have already been killed. More are being killed every day. Two million displaced in a country on the verge of famine. And it just got worse. There's been a power shift in the war in Yemen. One-time allies have now turned on each other. Friends of convenience have turned into foes. Cracks have appeared in the U.S.-backed Saudi-led alliance, which supports the country's president in his fight against Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. A long-running power struggle finally came to a head this week, potentially shattering an already fragile relationship. Separatist rebels calling themselves the Southern Transitional Council and backed by the United Arab Emirates have turned on the government forces of President Abdurrabu Mansour Hadi. Hadi is in exile in Saudi Arabia with no timetable for his return. On Tuesday, the STC gained control of most of the port city of Aden, the interim capital, closing the airport, schools and shops. But the show of force was short-lived as the council ceded control of two military bases soon after. The council is calling for a return to the pre-1990 situation where there were two Yemeni states. Last week, the STC demanded Hadi fire his government over allegations of corruption. We ask all fighters to come back to improve our Ministry of Defense and give a real administration that assures everybody justice and equality. In turn, the coalition is called for restraint. The coalition and the legislative government call on the people of Aden's wisdom and urge them not to continue the violence. And we are calling on the legitimate government to look into the demands of the political and social movement. Meanwhile, the larger civil war between the government and the rebels is for the most part deadlocked. And the rebel alliance hasn't been immune to infighting either. In December, fighting broke out between the Houthis and their partner in the conflict, the former president, Ali Abdullah Saleh. Saleh took issue with the Houthis dominating the north and reached out to Hadi and the coalition. This didn't end well. Saleh was killed, his forces defeated, and hundreds of loyalists captured, leaving the rebels to fight alone. What happens from here remains unclear. If the power struggle within the coalition continues, the distraction could open the door for Al-Qaeda and Daesh. It could also make way for the Houthis to expand their areas of control. With ever-changing alliances making it difficult to keep track of who is fighting who, Yemen's complex civil war shows no signs of letting up. While the country is no stranger to civil war, North and South Yemen were unified less than three decades ago. But now, more than ever, that so-called unification appears to be more threatened than ever. Adil Halim, The Newsmakers.